In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get embeddings from Llama 3 model. We will be using Olama, Llama index, and Langchain to get embeddings from a single sentence and batch sentences. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I make videos on machine learning large language models. And now enjoy the video. We first have to make sure our Llama 3 model is up and running in our local machine. So over here, I'm what I'm going to do is copy this Olama run Llama 3. This will essentially download and install the Llama 3 model on your computer. Now, by the way, while this is installing, I just want to quickly showcase that this is using the Olama library. Olama is a library that you can install it on your computer. And all you have to do is install it, call the mod that you want to use, and you should be up and running in no time. And over here, it has quickly downloaded. And I can write hi. It's called the response this way. As you can see, it's pretty quick. That's probably because I'm using a M1 MacBook. Now it's also going to work very, very effectively and efficiently on your GPU based Windows computer or whatever machine you're using. But if you're using it on a CPU, it will most likely take a lot of time. So yeah, that's the quickest way to get around with using Llama 3 on your computer. First things first, make sure you've installed all the packages that I've listed over here. Once you've done that, we can do import Olama. And then you guys have to make sure that you guys have pulled Llama 3 model in your computer. Once we do that, once we do that, we will get the Llama 3 and load it as the old Llama embedding over here and actually see if we can convert this prompt into an embedding. This will take some time depending on how fast your computer is. And here we go. Here we have the embedding for this sentence over here. You guys can store it somewhere in a list or in a vector database. Now I'm going to show you guys how to get embeddings using Llama index. First, we will import the old Llama embedding package over here. And now we're going to load the old Llama embedding in a variable. Now actually, I've loaded in the wrong variable over here. So I just have to write it like this. And now on the next line, we will use this variable to Im embed our sentence. So all we really have to do is dot get query embedding. And this way you can simply get a query for a specific sentence. I've printed out, there you go. This one went much, much, much more quicker than using Olama over here. An interesting observation. And now I will show you guys how to get a batch embedding using Llama index, using Olama or Llama 3 embedding. Over here, we have a sentence over here, a list of sentences, and we're going to use the Olama embedding variable that's called over here to embed our sentences. And there you go. We have a list of embeddings for these two sentences over here. And now I'm going to show you guys how to use Langchain with Olama to get the embeddings. So we're going to import Olama embeddings in the Langchain or with Langchain. And now we're going to create a single embedding and this should look like this. Now, before we embed a single sentence over here, we have to, before that, we have to call the Olama embeddings package in a variable. So here I'm calling Olama embeddings using the Llama 3 model in this variable, which we're going to call to embed our query. And here we go. Here we have the query or the embeddings of the query. Now we're going to create the batch embedding. So exact or very, very similar pattern, Olama embed, embed documents, and a list of sentences, just like we have on Llama index, very, very similar. And there you have it, a list of embeddings. Now, of course, you would use these embeddings to kind of store it in a vector store, like a Chroma DB. But yeah, this is how you make embeddings using Llama 3 model, using Olama, Llama index, or Langchain. Hope you guys find it interesting. Okay, guys, hope you guys found it insightful. If you guys did, make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Have a nice day.